So again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, and Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. Please pardon the neighbor mowing their lawn. Hopefully it isn't too horrendously loud. If it's too bad, I just won't share the video. But in the meantime, I think I'm going to um, spread some paint and take that little... Yeah, the problem with mowing the lawn is that there's always something attached to it on the breeze. So I want a good coating of paint on my canvas and it needs to be somewhat thick because I have a weird plan. I know I like to do ring pours and um, I'm not that big of a fan of losing some of the colors and I kind of think that strange as it may seem nobody that I've noticed oh yeah we have love, bu love bugs they're bouncing off my legs um, and out of my artworks by the way so if I squeak you'll understand what's going on. I'm going to put I think and we got strong breezes today. It's actually pretty pleasant. But um, if something flies by, <laughs> blows into the artwork, you know, it's it's sort of par for the course to work today. Bug, if you don't get out of my paint rag dish, you are going to become painted. All right, so just because I didn't grab the larger bottle, I'm going to use. I'm going to wipe that off. I don't know why. It's it's sort of pointless because I'm going to pour other paints on top of these anyway. So these paints are basically the background for whatever I choose to add next. And I'm going to add things, I think, in spirals and tilt them. But uh, if things go sideways, as they do sometimes, I may do whatever. Um, out of the 80,000 people who are subscribed to me, maybe 200 a day watch a video so I've got the ultimate permission to do whatever I want because nobody's watching <laughs> which is kind of freeing actually so uh, thanks YouTube for not placing my videos where anyone can find them anymore well my my cohorts are getting 17,000 views in a few days good good for them um, I'm gonna take advantage of this moment of freedom feeling freedom and uh, hopefully create something interesting I don't know. That wants to be knocked off on the edge of my canvas because wasting it just doesn't seem right. It doesn't matter if it runs into the other. Matter of fact, I can just push that bead of paint right along on that edge until it does encounter the other. And we'll often get cells between black and white anyway. Hey, eventually, especially if the painting is very cool, which, which it could turn out to be, who knows, um, Eventually, a bunch of people will see it, I would assume. Might be wrong, but I would assume so. All right, I can see I've got some canvas there. And I've got more paint on my spatula than I did before I tried to use it on my edge. Okay, well, here comes our first love bug. Go away. Now, I did shake some of my paint. My idea is to just go ahead and add ribbons of paint in the colors that I like. wherever I like, however I like, and then tilt. Because I don't recall ever having done exactly that before. And I like the I, I like the sound of it. What can I say? Let's grab some Love Bug Free Gold, hopefully. I've never done exactly this, and I guess that was probably not part of the plan. Sometimes the, yeah, I see that thing. Go away thing. So this way, I know what colors I have and where I'm putting them where I want them to be. And I'm making a cool pattern. And I guess worst case scenario, if I wanted to stop and keep what I've got, I could do that too. So far, I'm good. I've made up a few new colors. I had some Sargent metallics hanging out in my uh, in my drawer. It occurs to me I don't need to put them down just in spirals, but I would like them to look kind of cool. And I could use some white in the black. Matter of fact, maybe I'll use some. Is that the metallic? Ooh, I can't tell. I took the. I peeled the top of my my paint. 
Yeah, that looks metallic to me. All right. So white and the black. And I don't really think I even have to go that far to tell you the truth. Let's put some black in the white too, or maybe some of this other. That is a mystique or something similar. I someday I'm gonna have to read the label. It's an art mines. Comes from Michaels. I don't know that it's available anywhere else. There is an Am there is an Amazon link to my to products I've found and used and a bunch I would like to find and use, honestly, under uh, under show more under the video. But uh, Anita's, I like Anita's metallics. It's really inexpensive. And especially the white metallic. I shouldn't be sharing that information with you guys because then when I go to the store, it won't be there anymore. All right, so what, am I, what do I want that I don't see here? I love this. That's another Art Mines. It doesn't really matter what I start with because it's all going to get tilted anyway. Whoops, that wasn't right. <laughs> that, that disproved my point because evidently at that exact moment it did matter to me. I'm going to assume, hopefully safely, that I have an edge catcher around here somewhere. I wonder how far I'm going to be able to go with this. I'm just randomly adding colors. Do I want any more gold? Maybe I want a little more gold. I might want a little more green too. Oh, I've got something clogging my tip. All right, I'm not minding any of that. Probably gonna lose all my white and maybe some of my black, but I might keep my colors. What else? That's, I didn't use any Prussian blue. Oh well, never mind. maybe next time. So, whatever I've got, I need to decide if I'm ready to go now. And since I love my folk art color shifting turquoise, did I mention we had a really strong breeze today? There goes my grip sheet. Oh well. See ya! I'll find it later. Or the neighbors will. Really, really strong breeze. Alright. So that's cool. I'm done. No, I'm kidding. Um, I didn't use much of this. So I'm going to go back in. I said it was done. I lied. I'm not sure if there's any point to actually putting it in there on the black, but as long as there's white in there, I can do that. Some of these are going to blend beautifully, too. Alright, is that it? Finally? I left something in my way. That might be it, finally. Wow, maybe I shouldn't tip. <laughs> Somebody's going like, no, you should not tip. But I want to know if we can get away with this and what will happen. Actually, you know what? I think I'm going to put another edge catcher right on my tile so that if I need to dump things off, I can do that. Let's go for covering the edge first, letting things flow onto there, rocking my edge catcher, maybe flowing things back again. I think I'm going to wipe that off, come around the other way, bring my edge catcher back again, line it up. I think I'm right about losing my white. I think it's going to be all gone. Maybe I'll get to keep some of that metallic Anita's. That'd be all right. So after I go from end to end, then I'll go, I see that thing that does not belong in there. Come out thing. Now it's got a new color attached to it. If I don't think that it's fabulous enough, although it's looking like zebra on colorful steroids, um, I'll just put chain in there. But I really did want to play with this. Let's see if we could... No, I need more. If I rock it long enough, I can bring it back. I don't know, it's kind of cool. It looks like um, some kind of crazy, crazy camo. 
Hey, my new set of leggings. What do you know? So if I tip it down that way, then when I get a pool of paint started, assuming I can get a pool of paint started, and rock the edge catcher so that I can get that paint over on the edge to cover the artwork. And I can also send it right back in again. I'm getting some kind of neat things. It looks more like a colorful topographical map to me right now. Super psychedelic. I don't know, it's an experiment worth making, but it was a lot of nice, expensive, colorful paint. Let's hope I can do something I like. It occurs to me there are always balloon rolls. I like that right there. I am recording, so if you could not make that noise again, that would be awesome. I don't know what that was. Sort of like nails on the chalkboard. But at least they stopped mowing the lawn next door. Now they're only mowing the lawn down the street. Hey, you got to take advantage of it while you can. Although, they do it in the rain here, which is crazy. I guess so many lawns, so little time. So next time, lots more white, much less color. Fooling that all the way down there. Do I want to lift? Leave it off? No, not really. I'm going to send a whole wave of paint right back into the artwork. Because I can, the name of my book on the Amazon link under Show More. So that's kind of neat. I like it. I'm going to take, not with that one, I'm going to use my Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and grab some of my paint. Put it right there. What else? Do I want anything else? That's really cool. It doesn't look like what I was expecting at all. So I don't really need black in there. I still have some of my white. It's definitely not a ring pour. I can change up the top if I want by utilizing the rest of the paint I'm scraping off the edge catcher. I'm trying to decide if there's anything I want to add in there. I've got three minutes left before my timer tells me that I can tell you whatever I want for two. Which will be basically that I have an Amazon link and if you're looking for a Facebook group you can go to Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors for Fans and Collectors and uh, you can go to Expressionist Art Studio Appreciation Group for if you're a student. And that edge catcher is pretty well clean enough. And I don't really know if I did, if I helped or if I hurt anything about the composition, such as it is. I want blue in there. Why do I keep crazy? Whoa. Hey, that was close. Wow. That was really close. I do. And I'm going to take the kerchief off my neck, too, because that's probably going in there next. I think, whoa. Okay, that's not really what I was expecting. I have plenty of pain in here. So I probably don't need to uh, go too far, but I do like the way the blue looks. And because I want to create something that's a little different than I've got, not much, just a little, I'm going to take the paint that I just added there. And tilt it one more time. I like the turquoise on the top, or the top to you. I really want to put chain in there, but I really also want to um, see what's going to happen with the torching. Wow, I am out of gas. It's only taken like six months. Could also be the wind. But I might as well torch everything to see if I can get rid of any bubbles because I think I'm going to be looking for a new tank in a moment, which is un unfortunately in the house. Well, I wonder if I have an acetate card here somewhere. I do. Check that out. Now, as lovely as this is, I just want to play.
And since playing will often release cells, it's probably not going to be the end of the world that I do this. And it might do something really good. It still makes me want to have some chain. And that timer is still going to go off in a moment. In 56 seconds, actually. And I have a lot of paint on my canvas. I'm not sure all of which I needed. I have been giving myself a little bit of permission to uh, put black into things. And I don't think that's going to hurt anything. I have been blowing things around lately. I know that the, uh, the spatula will swipe it out. I really want to do something with that there. I'm not sure what though. I've got two minutes to tell you guys whatever I'm going to tell you, which is also, please give me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. It helps the YouTube algorithm, or at least I used to think so. Kind of want some orange in there. I think the gold is going to go right up there. Yeah, that's, that's making me happier than I was. Where's that bamboo skewer? My ever-present bamboo skewer was... Temporarily mislaid. So that's all pretty cool. And the wind has died down, so that gives me a chance to uh, torch again, maybe. So I love you guys, and there are 80,000 of you. And my torch is toast. We torched to release the bubbles in the paint, and hopefully I can get them mostly out. Before you're gone, this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard saying, if you guys contribute to help keep me painting, as many of you have, thank you very much, or make a comment, you're assisting me greatly. And if you do contribute, it's a $10 minimum to get into the drawing where I give away a painting or a choice of paintings. And this month is actually a uh, $160 credit toward an artwork of your choice, should that be of interest to you, along with a signed copy of my book. I like that a little better. It doesn't mean that I'm done though, and I'm not coming back for part two, so I kind of hope before that timer goes off and leaves me one last minute that I can figure it out. I love what happens with my skewer. I don't really think I'm somebody who needs a balloon. I think I can use a skewer. And uh, I'm pretty happy with all of that. It's a lot different than most things. But um, it was an experiment worth making. I want that white up in there. Right there. All right, so I love you guys. And I will see you shortly or soon or tomorrow. And if you look on the end screens, you can find my website there. You can find a place where I sell my clothing under the video. I've added tons of new designs. If you feel like sharing a video, I could use all the help I can get. Thank you very much. And I will see you guys anon. Look, for, look on the end screens for my channel or click on my face for my channel. And uh, it will bring you to uh, playlists of videos by genre or by the hundred. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. Priscilla Batzell, as I said already, in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard saying bye for now. Priscilla out. And you're still here. Cool. And you can actually see the painting. Even cooler. I know there were 15 seconds. I love you guys. Bye. See ya.